Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Lebrik. Under the patronage and in the presence of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Authority for Sports, president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the chairman of the Supreme Authority of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, vice president of the Supreme Authority of the club, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the seventh race for the season which was held on the cups of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the cups of his sons His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The race was also attended by His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of their Highnesses and an audience of horse racing fans. At the end of the race, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa presented His Highness's cup for the eighth round to His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, while His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa presented the cup of the third round to the winner Abdullah Faisal, the fourth round cup to Kumail Al Malah, and the sixth round cup to Hussein Ibrahim Al Afu, and the seventh round cup to His Highness Sheikh Sultan Al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, while His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa presented the first round cup to Ibrahim Nader and the second round cup to His Highness Sheikh. Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed his pride in implementing the royal directives of His Majesty the King, the prime supporter of the equestrianism in the kingdom of preserving and elevating the sport, indicating his keenness to support the development efforts and steps undertaken by the Supreme Authority of the Rashid Equestrian Club, headed by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also praised the organizational efforts made to make this race a success and congratulated all the owners and riders who won the racing cups. In the presence of the chairman of the Supreme Authority of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the club organized the eighth horse race meeting of the season, which was held on the Arabian Horse for Equestrian Services and Palace Projects Cups at the club's racetrack in Rafa area in Sakhir. The race was also attended by a number of their highnesses, representatives of the sponsoring companies and horse racing fans. The race comprised of eight events. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Arabian Horse Foundation Cup for the seventh race from marketing director of the Arabian Horse for Equestrian Services, Ali Hassan Al Madhub, while His Highness Sheikh Sultan Al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa received the eighth race cup from the general manager of TRM company, Zajad Al Hassan Al Madhub. 
presenting the Arabian Horse Foundation Cup for the third race to the winning owner, Abdullah Fauzi Nas, while marketing manager of the uh, Palace Projects Company presented the sixth, uh, sixth race cup to the opening jockey, Edison Rogers.
The President of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain's interest in persons with disability is a comprehensive and integrated concern. Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa stressed that the celebration of the International Day of Persons with Disabilities aims to shed light on one of the most important humanitarian issues that requires focusing on the overall needs of this important group and the main component of society, their issues and the responsibility of society towards them. He also praised the role of the Ministry of Health and its continuous cooperation with the World Health Organization to implement many community initiatives and effective partnerships between the various concerned government and private agencies in order to empower and support persons with disabilities. For her part, the Minister of Health, Dr. Zila Sayyid Jawad Hassan, has affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitment to guaranteeing the rights of persons with disabilities, enabling them to integrate more into society and participate in all developmental paths. She emphasized that the celebration of this occasion embodies the noble and generous care enjoyed by people with disabilities in the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King and under the supervision of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister of Health noted that Bahrain has recorded pioneering stations in a prominent role in the health field and in providing the best efficient and high quality diagnostic and treatment services for people with disabilities. The Kingdom's national strategy for persons with disabilities includes guidelines and plans covering the government sector and civil society institutions. The International Day of Disability Persons aims to promote the rights and well-being of persons with disabilities in all spheres of society and development. The Kingdom of Bahrain today marks the International Day of Persons with Disabilities, which was proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly in 1992 to be observed on December 3rd. The occasion aims to boost the rights of people with disabilities in all social, or social and developmental aspects, highlighting the international efforts in this regard and promoting awareness of the significance of integrating people with disabilities in the communities. This year's international celebration is centered around innovation and solution to achieve comprehensive growth, particularly in the 8th and 10th goals of the SDGs, marking the occasion, the Minister of Social Development, Usama bin Ahmed Khalifa Asfur, has stressed the great care and support given to people with disabilities in the Kingdom of Bahrain, thanks to the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow up of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He pointed out that Bahrain is one of the first countries which endorsed the agreement on the rights of this category of people out of keenness on fully integrating them and protecting their rights. The Minister explained that work is underway to launch the executive plan for the National Strategy for People with Disabilities for the five years 2022-2026 to continue implementing more projects and programs that support the rights of people with determination in cooperation with the Higher Committee for Persons with Disabilities, all official and private bodies concerned with their affairs and the United Nations Office. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, has called for nominations for the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the Use of Information and Communication Technology in the Field of Education in its 20, 2022 edition. Marking the occasion, the Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak Jum'a, emphasized the international importance of this award as it bears the name of His Majesty the King and his pioneering role in supporting and sponsoring projects, initiatives and activities based on innovative practices and uses of information and communication technology in order to enhance education opportunities and learning for all in line with the requirements of sustainable development and the achievement of quality education. He explained that this year's vision or version of the award will reward three basic solutions that contribute to providing public and inclusive digital education for all. UNESCO has said January 23, 2023 as the last date for submitting nominations provided that the closing ceremony for the awarding prizes to the winning initiatives and projects will be organized in mid-2023. The UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the Use of Information and Communication Technology ICT in Education is an international prize that recognizes innovative approaches in leveraging new technologies to expand educational and lifelong learning opportunities for all in line with UNESCO's goals consistent with the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Established in 2005 with the support of the Kingdom of Bahrain, the prize rewards individuals and organizations implementing outstanding projects and promoting the creative use of technology to enhance learning, teaching and overall educational performance. 
The announcement of the 14th edition of the UNESCO King Hamad Prize for the use of ICT in education and the growing number of participants reflect the success of the prize in its previous editions, as well as its remarkable role in serving humanity by building a knowledge-based society, in addition to developing education, science and culture. The Bahrain Institute for Political Development, BIPD, will organize in cooperation with the Municipalities Affairs at the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agricultural Induction Program for the members of the Capital Trustees and Municipal Councils. The BIPD's Executive Director, Iman Faisal Janahi, affirmed the pivotal role played by the BIPD in line with the Comprehensive Development Progress led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and in accordance with the aspirations of the government led by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Janahi indicated that uh, the program, which kicks off tomorrow, will feature a series of workshops to be presented by experts and specialized academicians. They will also focus on mainly one or, or, or two main themes, namely the constitutional and legal, in addition to the social and service ones. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority stressed its commitment to intensifying inspection campaigns against violators of provisions of the labour market and residency laws in the Kingdom of Bahrain in order to preserve a competitive, fair and stable labour market and to address any illegal practices that may affect the work environment. The authority explained that ensuring the protection of the rights of both the employee and employer and confronting illegal practices, including combating all forms of trafficking in persons and forced labour, will remain on an ongoing priority. In this regard, the LMRA announced that it has carried out 4,767 inspection visits from October 7, 2022 until November 30, 2022, in addition to 57 joint inspection campaigns with relevant government agencies. These efforts led to the referral of 526 criminal violators and 62 forced labor cases to the public prosecution, it added. The total penalties collected amounted to approximately 205,000 Bahrain dinars, and the number of deported workers reached 500 five workers, including those whom a ruling of deportation was issued against them by the courts and the public prosecution. LMRA called on employers and employees to familiarize themselves with the labor market and residency laws and to abide by their implementation to ensure avoidance of legal accountability, noting that most of the violations of employers referred to the public prosecution were related to the use of a foreign worker without a work permit issued. LMRA urged to support the efforts of government entities to address illegal practices in the labor market and irregular employment in order to protect society as a whole and to report any complaints related to the labor market violations and irregular employment by filing out the electronic report form on the authority's official website www.lmra.ph or by calling the authority's call center 17506055. The Muharraq Nights Festival continues on its second day with a wide variety of activities held at numerous venues across Muharraq. The festival, which was inaugurated yesterday in the presence of the President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, takes place at the weekends of the first two weeks of December. The festival, which is organized by BACA and Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research, highlights the rich culture and civilizational heritage of Muharraq and features a wide variety of activities including musical performances, exhibitions, workshops and fairs. As part of World Diabetes Month, a number of events were held last month to raise awareness and spread diabetes education and prevention. The events featured an awareness lecture on general guidance on diabetes prevention ways and treatment methods. We are here uh, with the uh, Be Well, OK. Um, uh, to, to make people aware about uh, the uh, diabetic um, uh, correlated dental disorders. Okay, and um, would like just to send a message for all diabetic patients that uh, early detection or investigation is very important. Just to avoid um, any uh, dental disorders or future dental disorders like uh, gingivitis, like periodontitis, like uh, 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 you know, extraction of, of the teeth. The prevalence of diabetes all, all over Bahrain, it's somehow increasing. And uh, uh, let's say uh, people, they have to uh, investigate, inv investigate that, uh, uh, you know, between 30s and 40s. 
as we have uh, strong genetic you know, uh, factors. Uh, Be well for family medicine and diabetes moved from their location from Rafa to Sif Mall in four hours duration. And during those, uh, these four hours uh, duration, it's, uh, it's including um, in these four hours uh, screening for the community, screening for uh, pre-diabetic uh, patients and for diabetic patients. And to uh, then patient will move to another station for the consultation. And we also did a collaboration with our colleague, um, uh, uh, Smile Line Dental um, Clinic. And also we integrate this program with um, uh, educational um, uh, games for children and distributing educational material and gifts.